Hey guys, this is Jules. I'm gonna share with you guys my nine inch clothespin that I have decorated. I have brought my kids back and this is kind of a reintroduction again to the kids. And you know, I I don't, I can't get tired of these. I, I honestly can't. Um, just as you see um, more and more altered boxes and um, more altered like journals and a lot of the kind of the same you know altered stuff in in that's altered in different ways I just feel like this is just one of those things um, for me and um, not only do I love playing with the clothespins but I have over the last uh, six months or so uh, been getting messages and um, requests on the clothespin uh, kit that I have had posted on my blog and I have a link, not a link, but I have um, a button there or a picture there um, on the right side of my blog where I have my sales and stuff. And um, I did note there that these were going to be coming out uh, the end of October. And it is now the end of October and I have the kits pretty much ready. And um, I'm just doing the finishing stuff on my blog. I just wanted to reintroduce them to you again and say thank you for the requests on them. And um, a lot of people have just just curious when I was going to bring them back because they're interested in it so what I did is that I created uh, four different styles of clothespins um, in the kits and this is one of them this is actually the last one this is my farmer's market clothespin and I love it I love how it came out um, I think this particular kit is packed with a lot more maybe a lot more stuff than the others but I don't know if it's because I played with it or, or, or whatever but anyways it's a favorite and since I have made several of these before I've given them all away and I don't have one of my own except for one that I made like three four years ago um, but it's so different than what I know uh, now it's it was just it just covered with paper and it has my name on it uh, but nothing fancy at all like how they have been the last year so I'm just really grateful that um, I've gotten requests on it so during this time uh, since I've had them off sale from my blog I have been just gathering things uh, here and there um, and putting the kits together slowly and I'm glad to say that I do have a good chunk of them um, now ready to go so this one here is um, my farmers market clothespin that I made actually it took me just a couple days to do this it was not a hard task at all it was wasn't long drug out at all um, I really like it so what you guys are gonna see is um, you're gonna see four videos after this one and the f they're actually uh, each video is for each uh, different kit so um, yeah so stay tuned because I'm, I'm gonna be sharing that in just a little bit um, so what I did is I grabbed some of the decorative paper and I have some doilies some paper doilies that I have in the kit um, I used everything except for buttons and I can't remember I think there was something else uh, fabric that I pulled out then it's the only thing that I didn't use in this kit but this is one normally I cover it with ink um, like distress ink to grunge up the the actual wood but this time what I did is um, I painted it a beautiful red I'm gonna show it to you this is I love full guard paint I love it because it's thick but this is cardinal red and the red was just perfect with all the other stuff that I had in there that was red. So I took it apart and painted everything red. And then I did the crackle medium. And then I did the warm white by Apple Barrel. And then uh, the crackle came out. And I used a tiny bit of walnut stain, just a little bit, just to highlight some of the wood pieces. I also took my emery board and try to rub off some of the white that's on the top so I can expose more of the red like you can see right there and the edges you can see a little bit of the wood some of the red um, so yeah I love 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 how it came out so I'm gonna open this because I'm gonna show you I painted the inside too it's all painted in there and this is all white you can see a lot of the red and the crackle um, I tried to um, cut the paper out where it was a tad smaller than the surface so that you can see on the edges still some of the um, crackle finish there so I just I love it I love it <laughs> and it matches my kitchen actually I'm gonna use this as a recipe holder and I'm gonna show you an additional project that I made for this 
uh, clothespins. So you'll see some Wild Orchid Cross flowers here that I purchased, um, particularly for my kits. Um, I didn't use any of the design team flowers. It's strictly uh, the ones that I have purchased to put together for my kits. So, um, and some Prima flowers. And you'll see that in all the other, in the videos, um, all the flowers that are in, in all the little no nooks and pieces and stuff that are in the kits. These are little berries. These are like raspberries. And um, this is in this particular kit. I have two red ones and a blackberry, which is right here. And a cluster of flowers. Love that. Some cherry blossoms and stuff. And then I just um, use some floral sprays, the red berries and some blue uh, green berries, sugared berries, some gems on the wire, um, some baker's twine, paper doily. This one has the checkered uh, paper and in the same direction you can see on the inside that I use the same paper there too. Vintage ads, love that. This is a brown paper bag because you know farmers market you go and you buy you know your fruits and your vegetables and it you, they usually just put it all in a brown paper sack so that's what I use a brown paper sack for this little booklet and um, my eyelet trim that is in the kit um, it does not come ruffled already I sewed it and uh, pulled the strings on there to gather it and there's something that you can do so I really like how that looks and Patsy's beautiful vintage lace her um, seam binding ribbon whatever um, some vintage lace here from a friend of mine Miss Rosella hi Rosella some bead caps up there and um, here's some more this is uh, the designer paper and a vintage ad paper doily paper doily vintage ad there love that this one I love because I was able to trellis up some of the um, the red berries on the branch I just kind of started from down here and it just kind of went this way um, this is from my stash and I've had I have this in my kits as well the chandelier gem flowers using a tiny clothes pin holding a vintage ad there and a fabric leaf back there another daisy um, vintage ad so yeah it's really cute I love 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 my my little clothespin kit or my little clothespin um, this up here is um, a booklet that I uh, can use for photos if I want to or just have it as it is leave it as it is um, but it opens up and there's uh, two photo mats and um, since it's a, an actual bag um, I just punched that out and it's there's a space for a little photo or uh, something to journal or whatever but I love the flap here uh, for the booklet it just oh my gosh this tickles me so much love I just love it it's so cute I love anything miniature so I love to play with um, stuff that's mini sized so what I did for um, the, oh my gosh, I had tons of stuff left over. So what I did with the leftover stuff, um, I made a um, a little, like a mat. I used, using cardboard uh, or chipboard, I painted it using the same paint and the crackle finish and stuff here so that I can sit it in here and um, it'll hold a recipe for me. So this is what I did. Look that back. This is a clothesline with uh, the little baby clothespins. This is also in the kit. The chipboard is also in the kit. Bling is in the kit. Um, using this as like a picnic table uh, uh, tablecloth type of thing. This one and the one on the other side is more of a bulletin board with old vintage ads on it. That's what I did with this one. Put two holes in here and some uh, silver eyelets and that's holding my uh, baker's twine which is my clothesline and I have farmer's market there from the paper and I'm trying to keep all of them these little guys in your, in the kit so that you guys can use them too I just love doing that um, cut out where it said domestic goddess collection um, I just took a domestic goddess and um, just sat it on top of the spray um, adding cherry blossoms that spray down with Lindy Stamping uh, cactus gold um, I don't know what kind of spray it's called I'm not used to them yet but um, same thing here just to give a shimmer ruffled up with some hot glue using my hot glue gun helpers to tack those down 
and I just ruffled it up so it kind of gave it like an old apron look um, or a valance like from a window or something yeah I did that <laughs> and I just love the effect of just an old bulletin board back there and um, with the crackle and the old ads just love it I'm so in love with this clothespin and it's mine I get to keep this one <laughs> And you get some charms. You get not only the bead caps uh, for decorative purposes, which is what I used up on here. Um, there's one there, one there, and one there. There's five of them in this kit, so that's three. Um, the fourth one is there, and then the fifth one is on here, this corner. And that's where the bling's coming out of. And you get a set of your utensils, your fork, knife, and spoon. A couple jump rings also comes in your kit. Um, so yeah, this is to hold a... And I grabbed one of my recipes from a box, one that I wrote out a long time ago. Um, so this, basically, you take off the clothespins, the little tiny guys. And you can sit it up here. And then just pin it. And then it sits inside of the mouth of the clothespin and I can set it up there and look at the ingredients and flip it over if I want to um, to for the instructions so that's basically it and then when I'm done of course I can just take it down and then um, just sit the clothespins right back on the little clothesline. Sorry, you can't see that. <laughs> and they just sit there. And it's just decorative. So I just think it's so cute. Now I only have a couple of these, of this particular one, because I wanted one for my kitchen and it ha is apple themed. It kind of has that old vintage kitchen theme going on in there. So that's why I made this one for me. But um, you can create some pretty cute clothespins for your home for photo mats and stuff and I only have a couple of the kits that comes with the chipboard but um, I probably will try and just um, add the chipboard in there because there's tons of paper you get a full 12 by 12 sheet cut in half they'll all come cut in half and um, sometimes you'll get just the whole one sheet or you'll get three or four um, separate pieces so you'll they'll be like e equivalent to two 12 by 12s so um, and you'll get your own bling pack and tons of trims and things lots of little flowers and Yeah, I mean there's not a whole lot of room there But once you do something like that for your leftovers, it's just perfect. So yeah, you guys I really enjoyed making this and bringing the kits back. So um, Stay tuned for the next four videos so you can see what uh, kit you may want and um, I will try to bring them out every now and again. Just stay tuned for uh, videos because I think that I don't think they'll get old honestly they're just so stinking cute so thanks so much for watching you guys I appreciate it and head over to my blog to the link below for detailed photos um, of this project and then um, the videos to follow will be in one different post on my blog so anyhow I'll talk to you guys later if you have any questions please send me a personal message or leave a comment below and I'll talk to you guys soon thanks so much for watching Jewel signing out of the jewel box. Bye guys.